back on. Back. Ciao. Right. This is Esther. Welcome to what's this thing called now? Sicilian, Sicilian Fireside, Fireside Chat. Chat. What do you think about it? FDI used to do that during the Second World War. Hey, listen, we want to talk to you guys about a couple of things. And if you like this format, send us a little note down there. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you know that these videos are coming up. Are you meet in Sicily video episodes? So it's springtime in Sicily, one of my favorite times. And it's getting hot, hot, hot. Well, it's really not hot, hot, hot. It's getting warm, warm, warm. Warm, warm, warm. Today, I was out in a t-shirt, and it was lovely. It was like 70 degrees, almost time for my air conditioner. Yeah, this. I upgraded it from the year before. So <laughs> now she's complaining. You know, seriously, we do have one in the house, but what's the big difference? We don't have central air. We have an air conditioning unit in our bedroom. And then the rest of the time, we just walk around with ice cubes on our head. <laughs> <laughs> or one of these fans. It's true, though. No. You, know, you know, you think it's easy living here? I mean, we're in a foreign country, essentially. We're Americans who have expatriated here into Sicily. And we have a full house. We have a three-bedroom house here, right? And we have expenses here and so forth. And I'm cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. He said it. Can so, say? can we talk to you a little bit about springtime in Sicily? Because I just love it here. All the fruits are coming out now. The berries, the mulberries. And I'm so proud of my strawberry, strawberry plant. I've never had one of these. Cool, huh? Yesterday I had a strawberry. It was literally this big. I can't eat them. She won't want to let me eat it. They're my strawberry, she says. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> and then the melons and everything are good, too. But what we want to talk to you about at this time also is about Alfred's travels and his no-nos, his annoying experiences. Okay. Oh, here we go. All right, you get five. Five of them. Five what? Five annoying things traveling. Number one is, well, I, I fly Alitalia. I kind of like Alitalia, which stands for always late and take off and landing. And I, <laughs> I fly out of Boston. I go Boston to Rome, Rome to Catania. That's the flight I do. The price is not the cheapest because she will fly from Boston to, I don't know where, Beijing, China to save a hundred bucks. Okay? Actually, it's not true. I do fly Alitalia. One time I tried Lufthansa and we had one stopover. Right, for 20 and hours, okay? What difference does it make, right? I like Alitalia because uh, I get there early, as she says, and um, I like the people there. And All right, I, so what are what annoying things? Okay, the first annoying thing is when you stop the plane, you, you're trying to get your gear to get off a plane, and some, some moron in the back, back tries to push his way to the front. What is he in he a going? hurry for? Where's he going? There's no place for him to go. So I block him always. I'm a blocker. And uh, that guy ends up being the last in the plane. And then the second thing, if you are flying from New York, L.A., wherever, into Rome, and then coming to Catania out of uh, Rome, just remember, to get from where you land the international uh, terminal to Terminal B, where you catch this connecting flight, I counted it yesterday, 980 steps. If you Took can't walk, 15, you might as well get a wheelchair. 20 minutes, right. And if you can't walk at a brisk pace, and you go through all the malls and stuff, if you can't do that, you know, get a wheelchair. I mean, don't don't kid yourself. I mean, it's a tough walk if you, you know, you're jet lagged and you're tired and so forth. The other thing on the plane, did, I tell, did we talk about the food here yet? The food in Sicily? No, the food on the plane. No. Okay. Oh, your bologna sandwich. <laughs> I Oops, ordered the I vegetarian. The I ordered the vegetarian. Okay. Because you get served first, okay? But what do I do, Esther? Pull I out the bologna sandwich. I always bring a bologna sandwich, and it, it blows Only the Alfred. mind of the people <laughs> all around me, right? I'm eating first, smiling, taking a big chunk of the bologna. They're like, what? Is, is that allowed to do? Yeah, it's allowed to do. I do that. <laughs> So what, oh, you're, one more, one more annoying those thing. Those stupid little towelettes that they give I you. love those towelettes. The towelettes they make, they always wake me up. I'm snoring away and they, you know, they, hey, do you want a towelette? Well, usually they wake you up because you get it on when you arrive in Rome, which, by the way, is at like noon or something, which is 6 a.m. So you need a coffee, you need that towelette, the smell wakes you up. It's a strong scent. Wakes you up and then you're all set to go. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Do you sleep on the plane? Yes. How do you sleep? What's your secret to your success? A couple of glasses of wine, boom, and I'm out. You know what I did for this time? Melatonin. 
one milligram, not five milligrams. If you do five milligrams, you get groggy. One milligram, I broke it into a piece. I took it right after dinner. Slept Boston. I woke up over Amsterdam, so it was great. I Perfect, the whole... and then you opened up the towelette, wash no, your I don't face. To... What I do is I bring an get extra bottle coffee. of water. I bring two bottles of water on the plane. The second one, when I go into the bathroom, which, by the way, I skeeve, okay, uh, I, wash wash hands, hands. I wash Me my too. hands. I wash my with it, you know. One of my friends brings uh, his own toilet paper, which isn't a bad. I, it sounds kind of gross. No, but, that is a great idea. Yeah, but I bring your own toilet a little bit. You don't need a lot unless you, you know, yeah, have to go to the bathroom. Bring your own paper. toilet paper. Bring your own toilet paper. Put a little bit. Hey, of you know what I do? That's really cool. That I learned, of course, from the Alfredo. Is I arrive to the airport first. In fact, the last three years, I was first at the Alitalia. Uh, check in in Boston. So what happens? I pick my seat. I get my luggage in. I zoom through security, and then I sit, chill, and relax before boarding. And by the way, I like to be the first ten on. Why? I need room for my luggage. That's correct. You know the other thing too about uh, if you're nice to the ticket taker when you check in, big smile. They remember that. You always have they to remember, smile. There are some people that are so rude, they think that, I don't know what, that they, they just act rude to the poor lady just trying to make her, you know, a few bucks an hour over there. Be nice to those people, because you know why? They'll give you extra stuff. When you come here, in the, in the now, okay, late spring, it's warm. It's not hot, it's warm. By the time in the middle of July comes, it's hot. It's very hot. And that air conditioner that she has and this air conditioner over here don't work, but the most important 1960s thing does, called doesn't work. Alfred, 1960s yeah. called, they want you back. <laughs> well, one last thing, one last thing I wanted to tell our people. I bought uh, citronella plants for the deck this year for the first time. Uh, what do they call it over here? Citronella. What mm -hmm. do they call it? Lemongrass in the States. Allegedly, it's supposed to keep out the bugs, the mosquitoes from the deck, which, as you know, can be fierce, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, they love me. Right. I bought this stuff last year. Oh, we should, we should, next time I'm going to show it to them. I, I bought a, f a fly swatter. Oh, next time. Next time I'll show it to you. And I wrote on it uh, the little saying from A Bronx Tale, now use can't leave. And I have it, and I have it over here. I usually whack them. But the best stuff is the stuff that they have over here that's accurate to 15 feet. And you love that. He's like, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Just sorry, spray, What I spray. do is I set up some bait. I usually put something <laughs> sweet there. Smoke my stogie. Whack, whack, whack. I feel so good about it. It's a good thing. All right. Okay, let us know if you like this format. And if you want to see more conversations, fire chat, fireside chats with Esther and Alfred down below. And now, but before we leave, wait, 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 wait a second. Before, before you turn it around, okay? Go ahead. Just remember that... This is everyday life in Sicily. Don't think that we go touring it all the time and we live in Talmina and we're going swimming. This is a house here. You do live here, so I'm going to turn it around. Oh, yeah, she has to show it. Now you're breaking. Look <laughs> at this beautiful scenery. There you go. We yeah. hope to bring you some more fireside chats from you know, Sicily here. You know what we're going to talk about next time? What? Living in living in a place, how you can afford to live here. I think we'll talk about that, okay? We'll talk about that and how you can Or whatever else people under, want to hear about. Under $2,000 a month, a beautiful place, food, everything, okay? We're going to talk about that the next time we do one of these. Ciao! Ciao. No, yeah. Hat. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Ciao! Yes, hat is better. <laughs> this is Esther. Yeah, Alfred here. No, Does come he on, let's look do it good? Let's do it again. He can get up. He's running to get to the head of the line. And what do you do? Well, fortunately, we already talked about this earlier in the tape, so she's going to edit this out. <laughs> <Stronza>. <laughs> yeah, we did. We did. We did. <laughs>